Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on Instagram and YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is February 18th, 2024 and today's daily scripture reading is John chapter 1. So now we're going to be reading the book of John. So John chapter 1 and the word says, In the beginning was the word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light, that was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Now, this is the testimony of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed it did not, I'm sorry. He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then are you, Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now those who were sent were from the Pharisees, and they asked him, saying, Why then do you baptize, if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there stands one among you whom you do not know. It is he who, coming after me, is preferred before me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loose. These things were done in Bethabara, also known as Bethany, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes the man who is preferred before me. For he was before me. I did not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore I came baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining? On him? This is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Again, the next day, John stood with two of his disciples. And looking at Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, teacher. Where are you staying? He said to them, come and see. 
They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Amen. So I'm going to... um. On the index card, I'll be reiterating some of the verses and then just some things that I noticed and was cool. And then as I was reading again, um, though I didn't write it on the index card, hopefully once I get there, I'll remember to put the other things that we see, the different aspects and, you know, who Jesus is as well. Um, all right. So on the index card, I reiterated starting off with John chapter 1 verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made. In Him was the life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And now John chapter 1 verses 9 through 13. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Amen. And then I wrote, what we read in verse 10 is simply mind-blowing if you think about it. Jesus Christ, who is the word that came in flesh, the world was made through him. He was here in the world, but the world did not know him. It makes me think that you can study all you want. Like they did the scribes and the prophecies that were written, but they still missed him when he was among them. But as we continue to read on, we see that people truly with like an open heart and um, ears to hear, they will see and know that he is the Messiah um, who was talking about and um, the book, you know, what R Moses wrote in the law and what the prophet said about him as we had um, just finished reading. Okay, and as we read in verse 11, he came to his own and his own did not receive him. How many of you have felt rejected by the ones you... I'm sorry, that was supposed to be... How many of you have felt rejected by the ones you thought were your family and your own. 
Jesus Christ knows how you feel. He went through the same, but he still loved them despite their rejection. And then I wrote, you know, I just love how we see in John chapter 1 different aspects of Jesus. He is the word that became flesh. He is the true light, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, Rabbi. We also seen that um, he was called Messiah, King of Israel, and the begotten Son of God. And then, the oh, I think this is, and then the last bit I just want to say is, we gained a lot of knowledge of who Jesus is in just one chapter, and we shall read and see more of who Jesus is as we continue reading the book of John. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't finish my thoughts. All right, well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.